Hey everybody, what's up from Roll, Minnesota, your state of skate. Hey, I'm Butch Lehman, and today we're in for another episode of Rolling Reactions. Now last week, we checked in with Chris Haffey taking on Richie Eisler in a game of Blade, and I wanted to follow that up this week with a better look at Richie Eisler and just truly how diversified he is as a rollerblader. He is so talented, and regardless of whatever terrain you put beneath his feet, there's going to be some pretty amazing tricks that are happening. So with that in mind, today we're going to take a look at three different Richie Eisler sections. The first one is his flip mode edit, which is a skate park edit that's almost exclusively all flips. Following that, we'll take it to the streets in an edit he put together in Canada with one of the longest grinds I've ever seen, bar none. That video actually has over a million views. And then lastly, we're going to take it back to something incredibly retro, a video that went viral 14 years ago. It's his Sweet 16 Edit Acid Edition, where he does every single combination, switch and regular, of 360 Acid. It's pretty amazing, but that's Richie for you. So anyway guys, let's jump into the video and take a look at why Richie is regarded as one of the best to ever put blades on his feet. All right, so this first edit is the flip mode edit, and he's going down pretty hard on that first one, but you guys are gonna see every type of flip known to man, whether it's backwards, forwards, upside down, sideways, pretty much everything. And uh, I absolutely love this because I myself am the type of skater that absolutely loves doing flips. And so seeing this type of diversity is something that I think we could use more of in rollerblading. By the way, shout out to all the skate parks that Richie's skating in these videos. Pretty amazing, and he's already starting it off with a killer trick. It's like a flat spin 540 to true spin Mizu grind. And that's not the only one of those that he'll do. He has a couple different flip variations to grind, which is something I've always wanted to do. Going over the spine on that one. Check this out. Like a hand plant flip coming out of the X grind. And several of these he actually does both ways as well. That spine flip, the little hand plant flip on the spine here, that's something I've always wanted to learn. And uh, I was hoping to learn that at Woodward one of these days when they have the resi spine at Woodward East. Figure that would be the safest place to do it since these old bones don't handle that type of fall quite as well as they used to. That one was sick. I like the rocket grab on that last one. This one's a little bit silly, but he comes back into Seth's slide. A lot of really cool uh, transitions here, and as a transition skater myself, uh, all these parks definitely look fun to me. Big Liu Kang on that one. Same with that one. One was switch, one was regular. Hard to tell which one is which when you're that accomplished and fluent in both directions. And the fakie front flip. That's a trick that I've actually tried and done a few times in the foam pit at the factory before they closed. And it feels so awkward to launch forward as you're rolling backwards and hit that flip. It just, it's a really uncomfortable experience. I can't even describe it. Going misty flip on that one. One of my personal favorites, the backflip. Always love a standard backflip. That one he's throwing a Liu Kang into it. Same with this one, front flip Liu Kang. Or method grab, a little safety grab action. Fakie backflip. Man, I tried these a bunch of times at the factory and when you fall on a fakie backflip, it hurts. You definitely know it. You definitely feel it. Got 720 on that one. Going 540 flat spin transfer and finishing it up with a fakie 540 flat spin bio thing to soul grind. All right, next we're heading to Canada with this USD part. And this first grind is legendary. Like I'm sure you've seen this before. If you haven't, you've been living under a rock. So this is probably the longest backside ever. And the fact that he's going right next to a highway that's you know, crowded with cars and vehicles is a very dangerous place to do this type of trick. So uh, definitely not rec recommending this to any of the viewers out there, but you know, when you do it that effortlessly, that's always a helpful, helpful piece. One of the other things I've always admired about Richie in any of his skating, whether it was like the park edit we just looked at or his street skating, is he has style that is really unparalleled in rollerblading. It's really controlled, really tucked up, and I like that kind of crouch style that he provides. And even with creative stuff like this, like taking the foot off the top sole to get that side rail, 
is something that's really creative and innovative and a hallmark, I think, of Richie's style. Getting that Liu Kang in there again. She likes it. How could you not? That trick is oddly impressive because if you look at how much room is off the rail to where the roof was, he had to duck down to avoid hitting his head, and I think that would make that trick infinitely scarier than what anybody might realize just from seeing it on video. Like, you guys have been there. You know what it's like when there's a spot that on video doesn't seem nearly as deadly as when you're actually visiting it in person. I feel like that's one of those spots. Check this out. He's grinding everything. Using every piece of the ledge. The up, the across, the stair, the down. Going to slide down the stairs there. Yep, that's that's why a lot of us don't do those because it's dangerous. Look at that fish. That's the way to do a fish proper, just sitting on it. What do we got next here? Coming down the stairs, coming in really hot. Stair bash, 360. That last one could have been death. And you guys know I love a fish brain grind, and the only thing I love more is a true spin fish, and doing it both ways, unreal. This is actually the thumbnail for this video. That gap in the sidewalk with the Liu Kang going over the road. And check out this Seth slide. He just slash slides forever, right out of frame. That's how you make a grand exit. All right, this one I have to apologize for. I could only find this in the lowest of low resolutions, but this is over 14 years old. And he was the first person that I'm aware of in rollerblading history to do the Sweet 16 Acid Edition. If this is news to you, if this isn't something you guys are familiar with, the Sweet 16 series is when you take all 16 variations of a trick. In this case, 360 acid variations. So every forward 360 acid, every forward top side 360 acid, every fakey full alley-oop acid variation, everything, both regular footed and switch footed, so right foot and left foot. And he just bangs these out one after another after another at the skate park on the same day. And if you guys haven't done 360 tricks before, this is insanely ludicrous to be this consistent and this technical to be able to put down all of these tricks. I've tried this series myself using Soul Grind since I'm better at those than Acids. And there are certain ones that I think I could go at all day and not be able to get. So pretty impressive. I believe since Richie did this, there's been a couple other people that have uh, done the Sweet 16 edition as well for Acid. Um, one that comes to mind was Jake Dotson, I believe, did it at Skate Barn. And uh, maybe we'll take a look at his sometime here in the future. It's a little bit higher resolution. But man, both those skaters, phenomenal rollerbladers. Getting the Hurricane Topsoil in that one. And I think he's got the Switch Hurricane Topsoil, or Switch Hurricane Top Acid, excuse me, is the next one. And just think of like the body position, the rotation, the lock, and having it come out that perfectly. It's amazing stuff. Richie is an amazing skater, and I always enjoy watching the skating. It's great. Celebrate that one, Richie. You deserve it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Rolling Reactions. It was a short one today, but again, a follow up to last week's video where Richie Eisler was taking on Chris Haffey on the shotgun box, playing a game of Blade. We'll continue that series here shortly because he still has to follow it up by taking on Montre Livingston, and that's a battle of two heavyweight titans if I've ever seen one. So going back to Richie Eisler, though, he's a skater that I have tremendous respect for, and really no matter what terrain you put him on, whether it's a skate park, whether it's doing aerial tricks, technical grinds, switch-ups, Judging him based on creative style and uh, innovative tricks, he's got it all, man. And so Richie is definitely one of those people that you look at for the sport and go, I'm glad we have that person in our midst. So that's what we'll leave it off with this one. Anyway, guys, I'm Butch Lehman of Roll Minnesota, reminding you to stay safe, stay healthy, and get out there and do some rollerblading. Until next time, we'll see you with the next video. Peace, everybody.